hey, I'm an artist, and I made this, and it's pretty freaking cool. And I know you're somebody who appreciates art, because clearly you have good taste, and I winded up on your For You page by you using this audio. And I'm just kicking back doing my thing. I do all this art just from to make myself happy, but if it makes you happy too, that would make my day. So enjoy the rest of your scrolling. Whether you like this or not, I'm sure you're... You are a good person. And uh, thanks for watching if you made it this far. Um, this is the finished product. Pretty damn awesome if I do say so myself. I hope you like it. But if you don't, uh, the person that made this audio definitely likes it and thinks I should keep giving art. A Story time! So when I was in 8th grade, all my friends wore thongs, and I thought it was really cool how, like, they bent over, like, on a chair, and just the little thong triangle popped out of the jeans. <laughs> so I wanted a thong triangle. So then when we went to the mall, we passed Charlotte Russe, and I pretended that I bought thongs all the time, and that I needed new ones, and I was like, oh my gosh, you guys, I need to buy thongs. <laughs> so we went to, like, that $5 bin, and I got white thong with red cherries. So I was like, you guys, I need to change into my thong because like my underwear is so uncomfortable. So I went into the bathroom at the mall and I put the thong on. So then the whole time I was so uncomfortable, it was hurting. My parents picked me up from the mall and then when I got home, I'm like, mom, I got a thong. <laughs> this is so uncomfortable and it's hurting. Is it supposed to feel like? And mom goes, let me see, let me see. And I come out and she goes, yeah, will you put it on <laughs> This is a nice audio for artists so they don't have to use those guild tripping ones anymore. Hey, I'm an artist and I made this and it's pretty freaking cool. And I know you're somebody who appreciates art because clearly you have good taste and I winded up on your For You page by you using this audio. And I'm just kicking back doing my thing. I do all this art just from to make myself happy, but if it makes you happy too, that would make my day. So enjoy the rest of your scrolling. Whether you like this or not, I'm sure you're, you are a good person. And uh, thanks for watching if you made it this far. Um, this is the finished product. Pretty damn awesome if I do say Story time about how my friend in high school tried to sell me to pedophiles. So I was 14, it was my freshman year, and me and this girl, let's call her Elizabeth, had been friends for about five years. Elizabeth kept bragging about this 17-year-old boyfriend that went to a different school, and every weekend she would try to get me to come to the movies with them so I could meet him. But my parents were pretty strict, so most weekends they said no. But finally one weekend they said yes. It was a Friday night, and Elizabeth wanted me to walk to the movie theaters to meet her. Um, my dad said no to that. He drove me instead, and he wanted to make sure that Elizabeth and the boyfriend were waiting outside so he could make sure I was there safely. And it's a good thing he did, because when we pulled up, Elizabeth wasn't with the 17-year-old boyfriend she had showed me. She was standing there with two 30-year-old men. Like for a part two. Um, if you see this, please don't scroll away. I kinda make art, and... Honestly, I feel like nobody here on TikTok uh, cares about art. So if you like art like me, can you please like this video? Because I feel worthless after working so many hours on a piece of work and then nobody actually seems to like it. Uh, don't mind this one. This was a fail. Um, you're probably going to go away, so I'm sorry if I wasted a couple seconds of your day. Also, could you please check this angry? This is an angry... As many of you know, here's my first ever resin creation, Resin Baby. Now we're gonna make Baby Ashtray. As you can see, we have a variety of babies here. For some reason, this is the only one that gets hair, which makes him the most terrifying. I still refuse to wear gloves, so here's my compromise. I'm going to omit the alien babies from this craft project um, and just start layering all these babies in here. So I'm going to mix a little blue in so it looks like the babies are swimming. Um, not drowning, swimming. Like, you know all those videos of people like 
that dunk their baby in the water and like then they snap and then the baby looks up you know what I'm talking about well that's the energy we're going for with this craft oh yeah and here's the cat So it's Friday night. My man tells me he's going to go out with the boys for a little while. So, of course, a couple hours later, I check his location on the OnStar, which, by the way, he knows absolutely nothing about. And he's at this particular address that's unfamiliar to me. And I'm like, you know what? The last few times he's gone out, he's been going to this address. And I'm now really curious. I want to know who the fuck lives there. I'm like, I need to stalk his ass. So I'm thinking about it. And I'm like, I got to call my sister to come over here. She'll watch the kids while they're sleeping. I'll take her car, go to this apartment, look through the window and see what's going on. And imagine I look through the window and he's sitting there with some fucking bitch having drinks on the couch, laughing, joking, having fun. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I need to kick the door down and beat both their asses and then i'm like you know what maybe you're overreacting a little bit let's take a moment and give him a call see if he actually answers the phone so i give him a call the first ring he doesn't answer my heart's palpitating the second ring i'm like i gotta call my sister right now and just as i'm about to hang up he answers the phone he's like hey babe what's up and i'm like hey babe what you doing and he's like oh i'm at the bar you know we used to go to before you had the baby and i'm like oh tell everybody i said what's up and he's like hey the wifey said what's up and i'm like shit i almost killed Okay, this is going to be a quick story time about why I started making kitty cat keychains. A couple months ago, I was leaving my favorite metaphysical shop when I passed a random guy on the sidewalk, didn't really think anything of it until I got to a crosswalk when I couldn't cross because there were cars coming. The guy caught up to me and was standing about a foot in front of me. He was probably a foot taller than me, not wearing a mask. He proceeded to ask for money and I said I didn't carry cash because I didn't have any cash on me and he proceeded to get closer to me. He only backed off once he realized that my key was in what I call ready to stab position and I'm assuming women watching this know what I mean when I say that. Once I was able to cross, I basically ran the rest of the way to my car with him yelling obscenities behind me. I got in my car, locked the doors, and basically just cried. I know I may not have been in any actual danger, but I was scared for my life at one point. This made me want to look into better forms of self-defense. I had been working with resin for a little while when I found this mold and I thought they'd be a really good form of self-defense and also pretty cute. I'll be honest, I feel a lot safer when I'm even just walking through a parking lot now that I know I have this on my person at all times. I also want to do a little bit more of an informational video on Kitty Cat Keychain, so if you have any specific questions or any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comments. When I was like 16, I worked in the most awful grocery store. One day a woman comes through my line and she's buying so many gift cards. $800 of gift cards, mostly for McDonald's. So I'm like, oh, why are you getting all these? And she tells me she's gonna give them away to people who need them. And I'm like, wow, that's so nice. 10 minutes later, I see the police talking to my manager, and I just knew, I knew, I knew it was for me. Turns out it was a stolen credit card, and she was not giving those to the homeless. So y'all wanna know who I think is so slept on? TikTok artists! I'll be scrolling through my For You page, and come across somebody making an absolute masterpiece. But then I'll also see that that video didn't get nearly as enough love as the next one of the shirtless boy doing nothing. I don't want to see that shit. I like to see things that exemplify talent and skill. So all my TikTok artists out there. Uh, I have a proposition for those live, laugh, love um, signs that white bitches got in their house. I think it should be alive. <laughs> Fuck. So I found all these extra pride flags in my stuff and I was like, let's make something cool with it. Just imagine if I was cutting up an American flag like this, the Karens would be coming for my neck. I learned the hard way you have to seal stuff or the ink will kind of like fade like that. So I got this stuff and just sprayed these and let them dry. Hopefully they're sealed enough, but only time will tell. I finally got some rubber gloves so my followers will stop hating on me. So I'm gonna put some pigment in this, but I wanna put clear at the bottom just to make sure hopefully you can see all the colors. And a good pro tip for when you're mixing is to just switch it back between a couple cups to make sure it's mixed. I'm gonna pour the clear there and make sure it looks good. And then put the big piece on top. I usually just put a ton of glitter in there, but I just got these pigments I'm excited to try, so hopefully I do it right. I don't have the energy to sit here and blow dry this, so we're just gonna full send, hope for the best. So when I was a sophomore in high school, I had this teacher who would only let the students in her class use the restroom one time per semester. Well, one day I raised my hand and I was like, excuse me, I don't remember her name, can I please use the restroom? And she was like, no you can't because you've already used the restroom in my class this semester. 
well, excuse me, you can't dictate my bladder. So I'm like all frustrated and I started secretly texting my mom because I wasn't allowed to use my phone in class. And I was like, mom, I'm sitting in class right now. My teacher won't let me use the restroom. And she was like, I'll take care of it for you. And I was like, okay. So like five minutes goes by and all of a sudden my teacher's phone starts ringing and she walks up to it and answers it and she's like, hello? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And then she walks up to me like so angry and she like slams the pass on my desk and she was like, since you have to go that bad. And I was like, yeah, I really do. Thanks. And I got up and left.